Welcome to Electron Online and now let's do an example of how to use the concept of inscribed angles and knowing how to find their measure to an example like this. So here we have four identified angles. We have a central angle. This is an angle that's made from the point, the central point of the circle right here to let's say A and B. Let's call this point A and B. Let's call this point C. Let's call this point R right there. So we have a central angle one. We have what we call an inscribed angle three. Then we have another angle right here, which is angle four, and another angle right there, which is angle two. So if, for example, the measure of angle one, the central angle is equal to four degrees, what is the measure of angle two? How do you find that? Well, one thing we can do is we can find the measure of angle three, because if we use the rule here that the measure of an inscribed angle is always equal to, oh, this is not correct, this should say one half, the measure of the arc that it subtends, then we can use that to find the measure of angle 3. So we can say that the measure of angle 3 is equal to one half the measure of the arc from A to B. And of course we know that the measure of the arc from A to B must equal the measure of the central angle 1 and which is equal to 40 degrees, so therefore this is equal to 40 degrees, which means that the measure of angle 3 is equal to 1 half 40 degrees, which is equal to 20 degrees. So now we also have measure of angle 3. We can also find the measure of angle 4 because we know that the line going from C to A is the diameter of the circle, which means that the sum of the angle 1 and the sum of the angle 4 must add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees, which means that the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of angle 1. And since the measure of angle 1 is equal to 4 degrees, we then say the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, which is equal to 140 degrees. Now we'll have one thing left to do is to find the measure of angle 2, but that's inside this triangle, and we know that the angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees, which means the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, those are the three angles inside the triangle, they must add up to 180 degrees. Since we're looking for a measure of angle 2, we move the others to the other side of the equation. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of angle 4 and minus the measure of the angle 3, which means that this is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 140 degrees minus the measure of angle 3. Angle 3 here is equal to 20 degrees. And so that means 180 minus 160, which is 20 degrees. And that is the measure of angle 2. And that would then be the answer we're looking for. So by using the rules we've learned so far, and the one that's really handy, which is this one right here, when we have the measure of an inscribed angle that is equal to 1 half the measure of the arc that it inscribes, or that it subtends. And so therefore, that's what we use to find the answer to this problem. So I was done.